Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be doing 10 of the scariest urban legends. So here we go. Scary urban legends and myths are small stories that have, well, always sort of appealed to me. Even though they used to shatter my bones when I was a kid, I loved reading through them to not only give myself a scare, but my friends as well. Today for you guys, I'm going to be going through 10 of the scariest urban legends. Okay. Number 10, The Slit Mouthed Woman, a Japanese and Chinese urban legend. A girl called Kuchi Saki Ona was married to a samurai. One day she cheated on her husband with a younger, more attractive man, only for her husband to come home and find her betrayal. Ooh. Her husband was furious and in a state oh, of rage God. grabbed his sword and slit her mouth from Kinda one side of her jawbone to the other. Some say that this woman was cursed to never die, and that others have said that they've seen this woman wandering the streets with a face mask on, only to ask people if she is pretty. When the target answers positively, she rips her face mask off to reveal her brutal wounds, wow. and asks the same question again. If the target screams or no longer finds her pretty, it is said that she'll slit the victim's throat with a pair of scissors. Number Ooh. 9. The White Death this story is about a little girl in Scotland who absolutely hated her life so much that she wanted she every trace cute. of her existence to be Besides destroyed. The, you know, the little girl people. ended up committing suicide and not long after, her family found her dead body. Shortly after the little girl's death, each one of her family members died one after oh another gosh. in mysterious, brutal ways, such <laughs> as limbs being Sorry, completely please. torn apart mysteriously. According to this legend, if you involve yourself too much in the white death, the girl's ghost might just come for you, as a girl was to make sure nobody mm. knew about her. No. Number 8. The Way to Hell In 1989, oh, God, Russian no. scientists like in Siberia drilled a massive borehole deep into the Earth's crust. The drilling of the borehole ended up a massive failure as the drill fell through one of the cavities as the hole was being dug up. Right. Scientists tried to send multiple pieces of equipment to see what was down that. there, just, just however quiet. that proved right. impossible as the temperatures with inside like, of the borehole reached greater than like okay why why would you do that why would you like dig a hole to the center of the earth <sighs> like core the earth's core whatever that's just stupid 1000 degrees celsius I would never do although that. the scientists couldn't get any visuals of what was down there it was the sounds from the equipment that it picked up that shocked them the most it was only 17 seconds of audio, but many believe that they could hear the screams of the damned from hell. It got worse as witnesses who decided to stay around the borehole later on that night explained how they saw a massive winged demon emerge from the depths. Oh, Number 7. Slender Man So by now everyone should know of the infamous Slender Man, mm -hmm. as he's become an internet sort of popularity over the past couple of years. Slenderman is a tall faceless figure with multiple tentacles that can extend out of his back. He's always wearing a suit and can generally be sighted around groups of children. According to many, Slenderman has apparently been sighted in Germany back in the 1600s. Many That's people crazy, also yeah. claim that they have seen Slenderman in an array of different old-fashioned photos and different sightings in oh. America, UK, and Russia in the mid-1900s. Slender Man has also apparently been involved with many different child disappearances as well. Number 6. No, Humans can like too. One night, a young girl's parents had gone out for the night for a few hours, leaving the girl at home with the protection of her dog. Before leaving, her parents instructed her to close all of the windows Why? and doors once they left. Shortly after her okay. parents left, the young girl went around the house. Why? Why? Why would you leave your child at home? With nobody watching them but a dog. Yes, I agree. A dog is a great compa companion. You know, they protect when they're, you know, when they think that their um, owner is, or their human is, um, you know, in danger of any way. And, um, but... You know, a parent should know not to leave their kids alone, whether or not it's with a dog or not, you know. You still shouldn't leave your kids at home. Allison closed all of the windows and doors. 
she made her way down to the basement to close the window, however the basement window wouldn't fully close properly. After trying and trying, she managed to get it shut, however it wouldn't lock, so she just left it. She then decided to head to bed at midnight snuggling up with her dog. She suddenly woke up at 2.30am hearing a slight dripping noise. She decided to ignore it. However, she was nervous and put her hand down under her bed so that the dog would lick her hand for the reassurance of protection and comfort. She once again was awoken by the dripping at 3.30am thinking it could be a broken tap. However, once again, she fell back asleep. For the very third time, she was once again woken at 6am and she had finally had enough. She made her way to the bathroom to investigate and, to her relief, she found her dog hung up and skinned and written on the wall in blood said, People can lick too. Number 5. Grave Cages Back in the Victorian era, many people were worried about the deceased coming back to life in the form of a zombie or possibly a vampire. To ensure this wouldn't happen, they made iron cages around many burial sites to keep the wandering dead at bay. What's interesting about this urban legend is that quite possibly the reasoning behind it might be a hoax, but many different burial sites to this day actually have these cages. Okay, honestly about this right here, if that would actually happen, like if there was really, if like zombies did come back, if I was them, because... The little bars at the bottom are wood. Um, that's not metal, that's straight up wood. The top is stone. But if they would break that, the stone would fall. So technically, I mean, that would be a good thing. So, you know, that's one good thing about that, just in case that ever did happen. Around them. Number four, dead body under your mattress. Ooh. A couple end up checking into a hotel for the night. When they get into their room, they notice a foul odor lingering around, so they I end up getting the staff to investigate where the stench was coming from. After endless- Okay, I'm sorry I keep ending- I keep, you know, pausing this video. So when my family was staying in a hotel, I was, um, staying the night, like, two times a few, um, while- they were there, and my mom and my stepdad worked there in the hotel. And I guess um, there was a man who brought prostitutes, who brought prostitutes to the hotel room and would literally, you know, till they bled. So I mean, I mean, it's terrible places. There's terrible things happen to people in hotels. Like, it's not even funny. Searching, they decided to lift the mattress off the bed only to find the rotting body of a young girl who had been shoved into the box spring. That's the scary thing man. about this urban legend is that it's actually happened multiple times in America, including Las Vegas, Kansas City, and Atlantic City. Number 3. Aren't you glad you didn't turn on the light? Two college roommates were studying hard for an exam the next day. One of the roommates decided to head back to her room as she was tired and wanted some sleep. The other roommate decided to stay back and do some extra study. An hour passed, and the girl realized that she needed a book for her studies, so she made her way back to the room. When getting to the room, she left the lights off so that she wouldn't wake her friend. Rummaging around in the room, she couldn't find the book and whispered to her friend if she could turn on the lights. No response, only heavy breathing. She sighed and continued to look. Once again, she asked the same question, but only heard heavy breathing. Not thinking anything of it, she continued to search. She eventually found the book in the darkness and left the room to return to her studies. The next day, she was sitting in the exam, however, she was worried as her roommate wasn't there. She made her way back to the room and turned on the lights only to find her roommate lying on the bed in a pool of blood, brutally murdered. She turned to the left to find writing on the wall in blood, saying, Aren't you glad you didn't turn on the light? Number 2. Polly Bias Polybias was an arcade machine that was unknowingly distributed into a number of different Oregon arcades in a suburb of Portland in the 1980s. It is said that many kids who played this video game ended up with extreme night terrors, amnesia, and bad nausea. After about a month, all of the Polybias machines mysteriously disappeared. Some say these machines were part of a government conspiracy. And what's interesting is, in an episode of The Simpsons, in a scene where Bart enters an arcade, we can see a polybias machine, with the writing saying it's property of the US government. Number 1. 
The Kidney Thief. One night, a businessman、mm-hmm. goes to a bar for a few drinks. A young woman sits down next to him, and they get chatting. The woman buys the man a drink, and from that moment, he couldn't remember anything of that evening. He eventually wakes up the next morning to find himself in a bathtub of ice and an incision that had been stitched up where his kidney would be. There was also a note to the left、wow. of him saying, "You need urgent medical help. Call 911." <laughs> He ended up calling 911 and explained his situation. They asked him if there was a tube sticking out of his lower back. He responds, "Yes." The 911 operator says, "Stay where you are. There's an ambulance on its way. You are a victim of organ theft." So anyway, guys, that is ten of the scariest urban legends. Okay, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna I'm gonna film some more videos later on this evening, or this later on this afternoon.、Um, but right now, I'm going to bed. I'm pooped out. I'm tired. I really need to go to bed and get some sleep.、Um, I have a long day tomorrow. I'm filming and everything. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow, or see you guys later on this evening, or tomorrow, whatever. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night and good night, and every everybody get some sleep and yeah, bye guys. Well.